Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever wanted to share a PDF in your Figma projects, maybe it's a case study, a contract, or a brochure with your team or clients, you might have run into some roadblocks. Figma doesn't let you just drag and drop a PDF into your design files. Seems like it should be simple, right? Well, today I'm going to show you a quick and easy workaround that'll let you embed a clickable link to your PDF right inside your Figma project, all without having to mess with complicated plugins or code. By the end of this video, you'll be able to give your viewers seamless access to your PDF with just a click, perfect for prototypes, handoffs, or presentations. All right, so let's get started. Imagine you've got your PDF file all set, maybe it's on your desktop or tucked away in a folder. The first thing to remember is that Figma can't actually read PDF files directly. If you try to import one, nothing really happens. Figma just wasn't built for that kind of file handling. But don't worry, there's a really handy workaround and it starts by using a free online tool called Hazing Flipbooks. So let's hop over to your web browser and open a new tab. Type in Hazing Flipbooks. This website is going to act as our bridge between your PDF and your Figma design. Click on their website and right on the homepage you'll see an option to upload your PDF file. Go ahead and click that upload button. You might need to wait a few moments while the file uploads, especially if your PDF is pretty large or if your internet's moving a little slow that day. Don't worry if it takes longer than you expect, that's totally normal. Once your PDF finishes uploading, Hazing will process it and give you a unique link to your flipbook. This is really the magic moment. What you're doing here is taking your offline PDF file and turning it into an online document anyone can access. Just copy that handy link. Think of it as turning your document into a tiny website you can share with anyone. Now jump back to your Figma file. You'll want to choose the piece of text, shape, or maybe a button in your design where you want people to click to view the PDF. For example, if you have a download PDF or view document label selected. Now look above in the Figma toolbar for the little link icon. It kind of looks like a chain. When you click it, a box will pop up asking for a URL. Paste your hazing link right in there. You've just connected your Figma project directly to your PDF online. I like to give the new link a quick test. Just click the text you attach the link to and you should see your PDF pop open in a new tab ready to go. It's a super smooth experience for your viewers. They won't have to hunt for attachments or juggle downloads. And that's it. You've basically patched together a feature Figma doesn't technically support, but in a way that's fast, free, and reliable. This little trick is a lifesaver for client presentations or sharing extra documentation right within your designs. If anything doesn't work perfectly the first time, don't stress, double check the link and make sure your PDF uploaded completely to Hazing. If you found this tip helpful, give it a thumbs up, and if you have any questions or need help troubleshooting, just drop a comment below, I read every one. And don't forget to subscribe for more practical Figma tutorials like this. Thanks for watching and happy designing.